Alright, so uh, this is Left 4 Dead Lover. Um, anyway, uh, I heard today I went on Xbox, I haven't been on for a while, and then heard today that Culture was supposed to come out today on Xbox, but read the blog and said it's been held back for a week, which I find is silly, and then why did they announce it saying it's out when it's been out for PC players? Whether or not it was in beta or not, it was still out. So I'm going to give you a look at the finished product. Um, so you could spawn all around, up top, right in the beginning, and pretty much after you take your first steps out, you're able to uh, spawn in. Um, the first map's pretty quick, it kind of reminds me of No Mercy, because it's really just a run gun map. Um, just so you know, these are my mods, my gun mods. Anything that you don't see that looks normal, it's all modded. My game's purely modded for the sake of me. So don't be thinking that you're getting all this when uh, the DLC actually comes out. So if you have any questions about my mods, just comment me, message me, and I'll tell you how to get them and install them. Or just actually better yet, look at my mod video because I'll tell you how to on what site to get. But um, I have a bunch of different mods on that makes the gun smaller on the screen. So like the Desert Eagle for instance, right now doesn't take up the whole right side of the screen. I like it a lot better. You know, most of my mods are all busy. But, um, to continue with the map, you could go up there, but honestly, I don't see a point in it too much in versus when it's so easy to get jockeyed off, or like a hundred people, like, that. Third person shooting, by the way, is so off, if you haven't noticed, but it's pointless to go up there to get charged and get jockeyed off. This is a big charge point, and a good attack point, but other than that, if you're quick enough, you're able to rush this part as well. You don't need to check on to the right, it's just more shit that you don't have to worry about. Um, there's a cabin up here that you go to, but uh, I honestly don't see a point in it because you waste time unless you desperately need ammo or sometimes whatever other goodies you had to go right here for it, but otherwise I don't see a point in it. You want to go to the So yeah, just keep in mind these effective mods are like the brothers, they're all mods, they're not fucking part of the DLC. Right through here. Like, uh, my pain pills here. Hey, through this window. As cool as it would be just to normally have that shit, you know. That's what you get when you play PC. But I just want to focus on the map itself anyway. Um, so here's a good charge point, smoke point, and jockey point. This is your main attack point, really. But you're already pretty much 75% done in that. I would even say more, but... But anyway. Um, I don't find this horde event really that relevant because you don't have to hold it all the way open you could stop at any time you want until you have enough room to get in and it's a cloud bomb and a but that drop point with a big charge is open and cold and you be there which is really awesome but that's pretty much the first map there's a couple big points that you could attack on but otherwise it's just a run and gun map me. I so i don't really see a point in much of oh, like yeah. the length of that one they should have made it a bit longer so that's, that's the first map, done, right? and uh, I'll show you guys the second map coming up.